Key Stage 3 Mental Tests Higher Test 1 Answers Appreciate that for the exam you can't use a working out sheet but I've got this here just to help me with some of my explanations Question 1 how many sevens are there in 56? Well, if you know your tables, seven eighths are 56. No more need be said. Question two. Write down the coordinates of the point R. There's the point R. It goes along the x-axis, 2. And it goes up the y-axis, 1. So it's a coordinate of 2, 1. Question three. The number 54 million in figures. Write the number 54 million so there's 54 and there's the number of noughts for a million. Six noughts. 54 million. Question number four. How many millimetres are there in a metre? There's 1,000 millimetres in a metre. Number five. Write a fraction that is equivalent to 5 sixths. Now, to get an equivalent fraction, all you need to do is to multiply the top and the bottom of a fraction by any number you like. So I'm going to multiply the top by 3 and the bottom by 3. You get 3 fives are 15, over 3 sixes are 18. So there are an infinite number of correct answers there. Number 6. What is 5.4? multiplied by 100. So 5.4 multiplied by 100. When you multiply by 100, sometimes you say, I'll stick two noughts on the end. But it's no good as of a decimal point. You need to move that decimal point two places, over the 4 and over a naught, so it ends up there. You've no need to put the dot, but it doesn't matter if you do. So the answer is 540. Number 7. The lines marked with arrows on the answer sheet are parallel. What is the angle X? Now these are called internal angles. And internal angles between parallel lines add up to 180. Therefore the X needs to be 70 if that angle is 110. Continuing number 8. Write 4.8651 to one decimal place. So the 4.8 needs to be rounded to 4.9 because the number after the 8 is 5 or more. It's actually a 6. Number 9. The plan of a school is drawn to a scale of 1 centimetre to 5 metres. The main hall is 9 centimetres long. So each of those centimetres is 5 metres. So 9 times 5 is 45. So the actual hall is 45 metres long. 1 centimetre, 5 metres. So 9 centimetres must be 9 fives. 45 metres. Number 10. Write down a number that is a multiple of 4 and a multiple of 6. To be a multiple, it needs to be in the tables. So we're looking for a number that's in the 4 times table and a number that's in the 6 times table. And there are an infinite number of them, 12 being the first one. But you could have said 24 or 36. Or anything else in the 12 times table. A multiple of 12. Number 11. Two of the angles of a triangle are 50 degrees and 70 degrees. 50 add 70 is 120. The angles of a triangle always add up to 180. Therefore, the third angle must be 60 degrees. 180 take away 120 being 60 degrees. Number 12. Starting at 9 and counting down in equal steps, 9, 5, 1. So we need to appreciate that 9, 5, 1 is actually going down in 4s. So if we're going to go down another 4, we're going to end up at minus 3. And then down another 4 we're going to end up at minus 7. Number 13. Simplify the expression on the answer sheet. 
you've got 7a there, 4a there, which gives you 11a. You've got plus 5b, minus 3b, which will give you plus 2b. Number 14. What is 17 multiplied by 8? Now because the two numbers are on the answer sheet, I can just go 7 eighths of 56, think about carrying the 5. Once 8 is 8, and that 5 makes... So I will work out 17 times 8 as if it was written down like that, rather than actually trying to do it in my head. 7 eighths of 56, carry the 5, once 8 is 8, and 5 makes 1, 3, 6. Number 15. The perimeter of a rectangle is 30 centimetres. Its length is 11 centimetres. What's its width? So if this is going to be 11, then this is also going to be 11. Therefore, that makes 22. 22 away from 30 will give you 8, so that needs to be shared between the other two sides. So the width must be 4, all the way around, being the perimeter, adding up to 30. Number 16. If 5% of a number is 18, what is 25%? Well, because there are 5 5s in 25, we're looking at 5 18s. Now again, 5 18s, I'd say 5 8s are 40, carry the 4. Once 5 is 5, adds up to 90. Number 17. What is the value of P in the equation on your answer sheet? So we've got 34 minus 2P equals 22. Now I think the best way to solve this is actually how you would solve an equation. Or you could say in your head, 34 minus 2P is going to be 22P. Therefore 2P itself will have to be 12. Therefore, P must in fact be 6. 2, 6 is a 12. 12 from 34 is 22. Yes, that's OK. Number 18. Estimate the value of 8.6 multiplied by 3.1. So the 8.6, let's think of that as 9. The 3.1, let's think of that as 3. Therefore, our approximation is going to be 9 threes are 27.